is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i do have a brand new wwe elite figure custom for you guys as well as some more pickups and we have some ideas for some customs that i want to run by you guys but of course let's start off with the epic new custom that i did do yesterday again guys 2019 has just started and we're only at the beginning of february and i think i've already done 10 or 11 brand new uh you know customs that i started and finished in 2019 so i've been grinding hard on the custom game and i hope you guys have been noticing all the great customs that have been pumped out here you know we got rumble rollins we got all the fed ballers we did we got the punisher jeff hardy and then of course we do have our brand new custom here today guys this mdt live extreme champion Black Panther takes a tumble, but this custom elite Kevin Owens that is obviously based on MDT Live or, you know, KO Live, as we want to call it. Of course, he did make his debut on the, or he hasn't wrestled just yet on the show, but he has uh, made his first appearance. He did show up and he pinned the extreme champion, John Morrison. And right here we have the MDT Extreme Championship. Everybody knows that the title belt is on the line 24-7. So, uh, you know, No Way Jose has been on a tear lately. Savage Jose, as I like to call him, came out. Um, John Morrison was just talking to him in the locker room. He turned his back. And John Morrison got pelted with that radio, the radio which is right here right now. Uh, hopefully Ho Jose's nowhere inside because he, he, you know, he may attack the extreme champion and switch. T uh, we may change titles in the middle of this video. Kevin Owens uh, later on in the show, John Morrison was still knocked out. Kevin Owens walks on by, and he uh, brought a referee with him and made his debut on MDT. So I guess you can say he had a match. He had a quick little match. He showed up. He pinned John Morrison and became the new MDT extreme champion and uh he is uh, walking around and he better watch his back because you know at any given moment anybody could show up attack him challenge him to a match for that mdt extreme championship because it is on the line 24 7 but all we did here was we took the elite 61 kevin owens this is the fix up that i made a while back um i think that i took my ultimate kevin owens arms put them on here we have the uh, elite 61 base it's the same shorts it's the same kick pads it's everything except for the head scan i was not a fan of the elite 61 head scan i feel like um well i think first of all this one i got two of them the first one which is the one that this one is is uh the, the head scan was all messed up the printing technology did not line up right the eyes were like on his forehead his beard was like on his neck he had a freaking weird beard his freaking beard is weird but anyways his, he, he just looked awful guys it didn't look right and you guys know that kevin owens is one of my favorite superstars in the entire world so i had to make sure that my kevin owens was looking freaking right so i switched on one of my favorite head scans i wish i had another one of the new elites i think it's the elite 66 kevin owens wish i had another one of those heads i guess i could just switch them because it wouldn't be that big of a deal i mean it's pretty much the same figure i already had the elite 66 figure in my collection. I could just switch them. We'll probably do that on action figure surgery. I think that'll be a sweet fix up. You know, KO will look fresh on MDT Live. But we have the paint going on right here, guys. Uh, this this paint that we used is Model Master. It is a really good paint. Let me go ahead and grab it real quick. So right here, it is called Model Color Acrylic Colors. Very Vallejo or Game Color. They make really good paints. I got this on Amazon, I think, for like 8 bucks, And it's really good paint, guys. You can see how smooth it is. I did leave the gray outline or silver outline, if you will. And all I did was cover up that red KO with pink. Came over on the shorts. And, of course, covered up the red KO in pink here. We did the same thing with Fight over here. Of course, that was red with white outline. I just painted over the red. So he has the pink now. And then I figured, I think it would be a really sweet touch to add pink kick pads. So that's what we did. We added pink kick pads, and now he's looking even more fresh. You know, he's he's had uh, multiple colors on his kick pads. He's worn red. He's worn blue. He's worn the red and blue combination at Money in the Bank. So I thought that it would be a fresh custom, and I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. Again, it didn't take me long at all. You guys can do this with any color. You can even do it with blue. I think that would be sweet. I may pick up a couple more elites of Kevin Owens and try out different colorways and stuff just to do it. I also have a ton of more Kevin Owens customs that I have to do. I have the decals. I just don't have the figures for them just yet. But that is the new Extreme Champion Kevin Owens. He should be making an appearance, possibly a match. Who knows? You know, the Extreme Championship on the line 24-7. He could easily have a match on the next episode of MDT Live, which is currently being filmed. But I figured that'd be a really cool attire for him to rock, you know, while he's on MDT Live and, you know, while he's Extreme Champion, at least, because he looks, he looks freaking fresh. I love the pink color. And this is a really nice paint, guys, if you want to pick up that. Um, any colors work, you know, red, blue, green, black, doesn't matter. Model colors are really good paint. It goes on well. 
and it's always thinned and it's it's very nice. I highly recommend it. But the other the figure that we picked up is a Marvel Legends figure. Yes, we have Black Panther right here. And um, while I'm not a huge fi uh, fan of Black Panther in general, um, I like Black Panther. I like the movie and everything. I'm just not, you know, I'm, I love the Punisher. I love Iron Man. I love certain characters. He's not one of my favorite characters, but this is a freaking sweet figure. I like this a lot. And um, the this new Cedric Alexander Elite 67 figure really inspired me to get this. I figured, why not get that Black Panther figure, man? So we have the Marvel Legends Black Panther looking really good. And um, I'm excited for that Elite 67 Cedric Alexander. I think it's going to be one of my favorite figures. We're going to do some surgery on it. It's going to be an epic deal, but we do have Black Panther back there. Wakanda forever. We're sticking him on the uh, stretcher back there to keep him in the frame. And then the last thing that we're going to cover here today, guys, is that we have two Shelton Benjamins. You guys saw in yesterday's video, we did pick up another Chase variant from Walmart on my toy hunt. Um, if you guys missed yesterday's video, definitely go check that out. We had a ton of Seth Rollins. We talked about the Chase variant. Um, a couple custom ideas that I had is I thought about making this a United States Championship attire for Shelton Benjamin since he is the United States Champion. Of course, on MDT Live, I thought that that would maybe be a good idea. Maybe come in here with, over the black and do like red and blue so like you would have a red, blue, white, and gold attire. Do the same thing on the knee pads, do the same thing on the kick pads, and you would end up with like a really cool, you know, USA attire, whether it be navy blue, royal blue, whatever the case, I still have my other Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin. So that, of course, leaves us some room to, you know, mess around and do some cool customs with this one. Even though the leg's a bit wonky, I don't know what it is, but this right leg wants to like bow out there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but, uh, that is a problem that I have with this figure. And then on the other Chase variant that we did pick up from yesterday's video, it is the gold standard version, of course. And I thought about coming in. I, I'm kind of just uh, trying to play with it here. Should it just come in over all this gold? Should I paint over all these gold, this gold on the trunks in black and then come back over some of the black with gold? Or should I uh, just leave it and possibly do something else with it later on? I do know I'm going to switch the knee pads. Um, uh, um, there's a couple other things that I might do. Um, but that is Shelton Benjamin. So another thing that I thought about doing to my other Shelton is adding a fade haircut, sort of like this, but in black hair. And uh, I don't know. It's just some ideas that I had playing around. But uh, there's Chase variant Shelton Benjamin. Let me know if you want me to do a black variant version of this. And then, of course, the Elite 63 Shelton. Should I do the United States attire? I've just been really uh, motivated to do customs here lately. And they've just been popping in my head, which is why we made this Kevin Owens yesterday. Because I figured it would be sweet, and I had an extra figure, and he's the Extreme Champion, so why not, you know, add him. He's on MDT Live now. He's not on the blue brand. He's on the pink brand, so he's looking fresh to death in his all-pink attire. But uh, I, another thing I'd like to do is somehow, I don't know how I would do it, because this shirt design's kind of weird. Maybe if they release a different figure, or maybe I can get in here. I want to do KO Live, like, you know, add live right here, but I feel like that's too low. And over here is too far to the right, and up here would look stupid. So I really don't know how I would do it, but adding live, like right here in cursive, or so, I don't know how I'd do it. It Honestly, this needs to be shrunk, and it needs to be like catty cornered, and then live, like straight across, would be sick. Or the My Damn Toys Live logo that's on the apron. Um, it could say Kevin Owens Live, which would be sweet as shit, but I don't know if I can make that happen. Uh, maybe one of my loyal subscribers can uh, help me out with that, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy. We have the epic Kevin Owens MDT Live Custom String Championship Black Panther Marvel Legends 2 Shelton Benjamins, and um, I don't know, you, you guys like this change of scenery? I thought it would be a really cool change of scenery just for today's video. When I don't have a lot to show you guys, I figure why not change the background up, give you guys something fresh to look at every single day, but... Thank you guys so very much for watching. That does it for today's video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Comment down below all the things that I've asked you guys for questions. I really appreciate when you guys answer them. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.